in a single day. Masks are now compulsory in major French cities. Violators could pay a nearly $200 fine. It's not just France. Cases in Spain are way up again after a summer lull. And in the UK, infections just soared to nearly 3,000 in a day, its biggest jump since May. And new travel bans are being imposed. But some Parisians remain remarkably blasé. Yeah, of course, uh, we are a bit worried about, about the situation, but uh, we also have to live like, uh, like normally. New free testing stations here account for some of the rise in numbers, but hospitalization and death rates remain low. There are fewer than 500 COVID cases in intensive care, down from about 8,000 at the height of the crisis. The infected are mostly young, showing mild or no symptoms, a trend reflected across Europe. Young people begging to understand that it's a real thing for everybody, not just for old people. And this time, France won't stop. A few weeks before, I was relieved when I saw the decline in the new cases. And also the news of vaccine coming got me excited. But now it's the complete opposite. The cases are increasing and the vaccine is supposed to come at January 2021 or even later. <laughs> Education is all clear. And now comes 
becomes the jobs. So banks, hotels, supermarkets, malls, restaurants are working in full capacity. And people are also not that scared. Hopefully the cases will decrease day by day. Hopefully the vaccine comes fast in Dubai. And in Dubai mostly we get things really fast and first. And the Dubai government is really intelligent and smart. They are really caring and thinking about us, which, are, which we really appreciate. So friends, I wish you good health and good luck and hopefully the world will become a corona free world. Have a nice time.